Homemade raw bars are the subject of today's food for thought video. My name is Jody Bunting and today our daily slim tip to help you lose weight is these. These were a gift for my birthday yesterday from the lovely Linda C. So thank you so much for Linda C. Thank you so much for my birthday gift. I didn't get to try them yesterday. But I am going to try them today and we're going to do it live here. I'm going to tell you the ingredients. I'm going to tell you how to make them. Uh, we're still here in London uh, for the weekend. So here is, I've talked before about skinny raw bars. So for those of you who don't know what a skinny bar is, it's basically a low calorie treat. And the raw ones are without sugar, without artificial sweetener, uh, but they do contain fruit so natural fruits do sweeten them so these are homemade ones guys so they actually look like those skinny raw bars uh, these are homemade i'm going to go through exactly what is in them oh yes tina's here sam's here helen's here hi guys welcome to the live video love skinny bars as i said these are the rin the raw ones <laughs> um and Linda reckons they're about 137 calories each. I'm going to work out the calories exactly and post them below. Uh, but how she made them is one cup of almonds, one cup of cashews, 10 dates, five cup of raisins and a couple of drops of vanilla or raspberry natural flavoring and a tablespoon of chia seeds. Um, I also added a tablespoon of unsweetened cocoa powder. So you can tell by all those ingredients, it's basically exactly the same as a skinny raw bar, uh, but there's a few acids and a few chemicals that these haven't got in, uh, which the skinny raw bars have. Um, and basically this makes 20 portions. So what I've just read out makes out 20 portions. So I will work out exactly, but as I said, it's roughly 137 calories. Um, Linda, or, Linda's also big tip is to freeze them, guys. So, because they do kind of all mangle a little bit together uh, and it doesn't help the fact that this hotel room is quite warm. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna, I don't know where she got the packet from. It's great. Maybe she had a little treat, uh, but it's just so weird because for those of you who've tried a skinny raw bar, it literally looks exactly like that. Have you seen that consistency? Exactly the same consistency, but obviously the chemicals that they add in there keep it straight, uh, maybe keep it hard as well. So that's the only difference. But the main thing, how does it taste? Oh, oh yeah. Oh, I really like that. So straight, straight away, you can taste the natural sweetness. That's from the dates. You can see all the chopped nuts. And the richness is delicious. If you like something a bit gooey. Now the only issue, let me just finish it. The only issue with making them yourself is, you've got 20 portions in the house. Are you strong enough not to eat them all? That is my only issue with homemade ones. Because we all know, if we buy the skinny raw bars, there's only three in there. And they're all individually wrapped. So, there's a little bit of security. With these, when you've got 20, not much security. But thankfully, Linda C knows me. And she has put a very beautiful ribbon, which I can tie up. And make sure I don't go for another one. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you, Linda C. That was a great gift for my birthday. Uh, and as I said, I really enjoyed that. I will be posting below a little bit later 
that ingredients list uh, and how she made them and also the exact calories. But that is my food for thought for today. Uh, and we're here live in London. Tomorrow we'll be back with another live workout at eight and also do another food for thought in our next hotel tomorrow. So thank you for joining us. Have a great afternoon. Uh, Tina says they look amazing. They taste even better than they look. Right, bye for now, guys. Bye.